I am on holiday, I'm in Greece, although I won't be by the time this actually goes up. Um, it's quite early in the morning, but it's nice and quiet and the um, lady that cleans the villa hasn't been around yet, so I'm quickly trying to do a little video while I have time. And so I haven't kind of done, not that I'd do any makeup on holiday, this is just me on holiday. Um, I'd rarely put any makeup on unless I was going out to dinner or something like that. So I thought I'd give you a little glimpse of what I bring on holiday with me if I'm going somewhere hot. Um, so let's go and do that. Now this villa has two bedrooms, so and obviously there's only two of us, so um, I've commandeered the second bedroom as my dressing room, as you can probably tell. And I've got all my clothes laid out on the beds, and I've got all my beauty stuff laid out on the desk. So I'm going to do a separate video really on all the beauty stuff. I've got all my SPFs and stuff in here, um, makeup things that are by Greek beauty brands in there. These are all separate little videos that I'm doing, so I'll go into those in more detail. Um, and also over here, this is my, on my website I do, every time I go away, a bedside beauty favourites, and I do a little snapshot of um, what's on my bedside, although I've used this bedside and not my actual bedside. Um, and it's just a little snapshot of my favourite things that I've brought away with me. So, clothes. I haven't bought very much at all, really. I'm here for seven days, and that is pretty much it. But you know what? I'm spending most of my time in a bikini, so there's no point in overpacking. And also, most of my luggage space was taken up for my beauty samples. Because, A, I'm shooting videos, so I like to have everything with me, or a lot of choice with me, and B, I'm judging the Zest Magazine Beauty Awards, so I've got quite a few products with me uh, that needed testing for that. Right, bikini, that is a really old one, and that is by Melissa Odebash. Then we've got a nice little skirt and vest combo, it's all very casual. A Violet Lake bikini, bright orange, and underneath that, a new dress that I've bought from Letta Porte, and it's by Splendid, and it's a really nice soft cotton, but it actually, unfortunately, is quite see-through as well. So I'm trying to work out what to wear underneath that and then I shall wear it out. You've seen this dress before. It's just a little $7.99 H&M dress, that one. And that is rather a wild printed shirt, just cotton, from H&M as well. Abercrombie & Fitch white shorts. A uh, top that looks like it's from Missoni, but actually it's from Marge. And underneath that, my new favourite purchase, which is um, like a lace bandeau top, and it's from Hanky Panky, and they make the best knickers ever. Um, but this is just like a strapless boob tube top, and it's really good for going under things that have got racer backs, like that, and that top. Stuff I travelled in, pashmina, jeans, hoodie, jumper... Some yoga pants there, which I'm not sure I'll get around to wearing. This is my newest bikini. This is by Diane von Furstenberg. I haven't worn this yet because I'm so excited about wearing it. I'm kind of saving it, but um, I need to wear it soon, otherwise the holiday will be over. Cat vest top, H&M. Uh, I haven't really bought any designer stuff with me, which is... Actually, it's not unusual because I just like to kind of lounge about. You're going to get suntan lotion over everything anyway, so... Um, I suppose I always just bring quite cheap um, casual stuff with me. French Connection dress, just very loose, vest up underneath. And this, which I haven't worn yet, is from... Now where did I get that from? Forever 21. And it's got an anchor on the front and on the back. It's kind of like this twisted knot back, so I'm not really sure how to wear that, but I'm sure I'll um, find a way. Underwear and all that kind of stuff is in my suitcase. That's my Kindle. I don't know what I'd do without my Kindle. It's amazing. Sandals, flip-flops, sandals, hat. Sunglasses are in the other room. That's me wearing this monstrosity. That's not a monstrosity, but I've had this for years. And H&M um, are actually really, really good just for simple little cotton dresses, prints, that you can just throw on and you don't have to worry about. And this one was just a few pounds. 
and I either, I think I bought it a year before last. It's not the most flattering shape, but it's really good because you can just pull it on over a bikini or whatever as a beach wrap. So that is it. Um, that's my toes. There's my fingernails. I'm wearing Chanel's absolutely named holiday look. Can you see that there? I've got the most amazing view.